Hello, my YouTube family. Um, I am finally out in the garden today. We have been getting a lot of rain um, out here in Virginia, um, 7A, Zone 7A. And I first want to say that this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm, a, I'm um, excited and glad to be in the land of the living. So I wanted to give you guys a garden update. I'm trying to work in the yard a little bit before I go to work. Um, so I'm going to, um, I normally go to work around 10. So I'm going to um, try to hurry up and do what I need to do so I can get in there and be a blessing to my babies. Um, so let's do a garden update. Um, let me first show you guys. I wish I still get the boxes over there. So I'm not going to worry about that. But this is my newish um, addition. It is a composted material um, raised garden bed that I got from Home Depot. Quickly, um, I saw this online for about $20. And I didn't order it at the time. I don't know what I was thinking, but I didn't order it at the time. And then I went to um, Sam's Club and saw that they had it for double the price. Made by the same company. Um, a little bit different, but I believe it was made out of the same material. Um, it just had like a weave design on the outside. This is just plain. Um, and when I went to look on the Home Depot website, of course, it was all sold out. So, I checked back about a week later and I ordered two of them. Which I should have ordered about four. But I ordered two of them. Um, and so, I just put this together this morning. I mean, it is very, very easy. It has the four planks, um, like wood for each side and then it has four of um, the things and you just slip them in it's so easy it takes less than five minutes to put together um so what you're seeing here is my new addition uh, raised garden bed and i just planted some sweet potatoes i'm a little behind um today is the 13th um they said we could in zone 7 a we could put all of our summer vegetables um out um, on the 2nd of this month, or May 2nd, our last frost date, I believe it's like April the 30th. So, um, I'm a little behind it, and sometimes it pays to wait a little bit. Um, but, you know, it's been kind of warm. Today is supposed to be about 81. We're supposed to get another um, thunderstorm about 11, 15, 11, 30. Um, so, I, I wanted to hurry up and get this in. Um, I also have some tomatoes in the house, all varieties that I want to also plant today. They have been out a couple of times out in the sun. I hope that they weather wear, wear, well and do fine. Um, because I am going to put them out today. I just cannot wait any longer. I need to get them out, get them in the going on out of those little um, solo um, styrofoam cups. Okay? So enough of that ranching. But this is my sweet potatoes. Um, I didn't realize that, that I bought two of these trays. They come nine each. And um, so I have to find somewhere to put my other trays. Um, I think that's going to be a little too crowded to put them all in that one. Um, and I want them to get a nice size. So I don't want to overcrowd them. So my husband's been doing some cutting the grass. And all the time when he cuts the grass, um, the grass gets in my garden bed. So I'm going to have to start covering them when I know he's going to cut the grass. Because I just don't want any weed seeds and things to grow. So as you can see, I have a lot of little grass clippings in there. But hopefully, um, I know some people like compost it, so hopefully I'll break down and not give you too many weeds. Um, so what you see here is my cabbage. I have never successfully um, grown cabbage. And this is the biggest my cabbage has ever gotten. So they look like um, they're on to a good start, off to a good start. Um, I do see something that's been chomping on these leaves. So, um, I'll address that probably um, tomorrow because um, I'm off on the weekend. So I'll come out and just look at it and make sure everything is good. No um, worms or anything are eating the leaves up. Um, back here, this back row is collard. And you can see I've been harvesting some of that um, off. And um, I'm just so excited. But I did get a kind of a jump start on my cool weather crop. And hopefully... I can get them to come to fruition. They'll, you know, um, I'll get it, you know, the harvest that I want. And can you guys see those hooves? I know that's a daggone deer that's been in my garden. He probably went chomping on the leaves. Um, but that's 
that's exactly what it looks like to me. Let me know you guys for sure think it is. Looks like a deer track to me. Alright, so I'm just super proud of this strawberry um, patch. I just let it, um, again, take over the whole bed. I did have over here in this back um, some lettuce. I I didn't get a chance to eat it. My son ate it all up. So I did harvest that. Just went on hand and pull that up. Um, and just to give this um, strawberry patch some more space. And I mean, it's doing wonderful. I have to get out here um, and harvest some strawberries real real soon but it is full as you can see it is full of strawberries it's full of strawberries full and every time i do a video my phone says it's on low percentage just crazy but um so i'm gonna hurry along all right so my peas in this garden bed is really doing well but i have to make a trellis for it so we're gonna work on that either today or tomorrow so it can grow up because it's leaning and um, not um, trellising up. But they look very, very healthy. I have carrots. Um, I don't think they're gonna get any big, you know, that much bigger. Um, I did harvest a couple, but I give it to my Um, they were from seeds, but now they're looking like they're trying to get some height on them. So we'll see what happens. Um, over here is my Lucento kale, and um, it's been doing well. I harvested some of that yesterday also. These are my potatoes. One side I think is red, and one side is white potato. And then the potatoes in the bags are doing good, but the bags are tearing. So it's not very good quality bags. But they're doing good. I'm just going to try not to move them away, around too much. But they look nice and healthy. And I need to fill that up with some more um, dirt. As you guys know, I do use the organic garden soil with organic fertilizer. This is okay. I love my black cow. Um, I don't know what to think about my husband's um, asparagus. We have not harvested anything from that yet. This is the second year. It just grew up like that. I don't know. So just let me go and do what it does. And then that is our wonderful um, onions and um, chives. And I just let that flower too, but you can still use the onions off that. I really need to harvest some of that, so probably tomorrow. I'm trying onions again. Um, they're looking okay. I don't know. Onions just. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. Um, as you can see, I do have, I put some seeds down for some cucumbers. So cucumbers have came up in this bed. And lastly, but least, last but not least, um, my new, next to the newest bed is my red cabbage. I mean, it's growing slowly. And then the Brussels sprouts is growing slowly. The thing of it is, it's still alive. I just don't think this dirt, I mean, I've been finding other rocks. I tried to plant on this side, and it's just so rocky and all of that. So I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm not gonna take it up. I'm just gonna see um, what it's gonna do, you know. It is growing slowly, but it's growing. So um, hopefully when we get a break in this rain, I'll give it some more um, food and try to build it um, up, make it stronger. All right, and um, I know you guys want to see the girls. So they literally have demolished all the grass that they once had. If someone can tell me what I can plant in there that they won't eat up, I mean, as far as um, a plant that they won't eat, you know, just demolish, I'm thinking it's something I can grow in here um, or maybe grow beside it. That they can have to see. Hello, lady. He jumped. He jumped. He got scared. Um, one is missing because he's probably laying. He's been getting about three or four eggs a day. Depends. One of these girls 
deliver some humongous eggs. Humongous. So um, they have dug up one of my pipes to go to the house. And so we had to put sand and some dirt and stuff to try to cover that up. Oh boy. I don't know. And um, so they have to think of something with that. But that is all. My husband is over here weeding me and trying to cut down some of this enormous grass because it's just, ugh, it's a lot. Hey ladies, what y'all doing? They found something and one is running and she's trying to get it. Let's see what they're doing. I know one thing on a grub one time and they were fighting over that grub. Say hello. We had to put wood all around because we were sinking out underneath the thing. So we had to put wood all around. The thing. There was a cover. And one followed right behind the other. Well, I love you guys. I hope you have a blessed day. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.